and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick little video on my Ray Dunn haul from the last two weeks. Uh, this is the first one I, I'll do. I'm not sure if I'll do more. Um, I have collected Ray Dunn for three years and I never really share what I find. Uh, but with one other person, I have a Dunn buddy because the people around here are getting so mean, it's getting so competitive, cutthroat, people don't really wanna help each other. So it's really kinda of hard to trust people um, and it's just getting really hard. So I'm at the end of my collection, I've been collecting for over three years, three years and two months, and it's just gotten terrible, especially this last year to six months. So I'm glad I'm almost done. I just need a few more, um, Halloween mugs and I will be finished but I just wanted to show y'all what I found I am in North Carolina so the last two weeks um, I found a good bit the last two weeks of good stuff and I hadn't really been all summer just because there's not really much that I've wanted uh, so I was waiting for Halloween to come out before I started looking again so I have been stalking my TJ Maxx daily for the last few weeks just waiting on Halloween stuff because you just never know um, when it'll come out but my husband's usually pretty good about that he's found most of my collection he likes to hunt for it too but um, so I'll just show you what I got if you don't know what Ray Dunn is it's a pottery line um, it's like I guess it's kind of farmhouse looking it's just it's really beautiful I love it um, and it just looks kind of old, antique, with the big letters. There's different kinds. I collect the large letter. I have a few icon things, not many. Um, I just really collect what I want now. I'm trying to be more selective since I have so much. But, um, let's see. Last week, I did find the new teapot. And this is the new style. The older one has more like um, a bigger, I don't know, spout, whatever you'd call it. Um, it looks like Mrs. Potts kind of from Beauty and the Beast, but this is the new one. And I found this last week at my TJ Maxx. It is $16.99. And I still need to wash it, but this one will be for display. I do use most of my pieces, but I thought this was pretty. I wasn't sure about it at first, but it's really beautiful. So I am going to keep it and put it with my other teapot in my kitchen. Let's see. And I'm gonna be all over the place with this because I should have did one last week. But my husband found me two mugs yesterday. Um, this one says Squad, and it was from Marshalls, which I usually only go to my TJ Maxx, but we were out in Charlotte. So um, he picked this up for me. And this one, Chug. And I have the sip, the gulp. So I have all the other ones that are kind of like that. That's $5.99 Marshalls as well. And I think they're pretty. Um, I'm more selective about mugs now because this makes 132 mugs. I know that's crazy, but uh, like I've said, it's been three years. So I've collected a good bit along the way and I didn't realize I had that many until you, know, you just look at them. I like them and I use them. Ago, I found the measuring cups. You can come in. Sorry, one of my boys. But I did find uh, the measuring cups. I've been looking for like a year for these. These were $16.99 at TJ Maxx. And I'll just show you. They're really cute. And I will use these. I do use just about all of my pieces. She has baked dishes, everything. I use my Ray Dunn. Um, some people buy theirs just to display and put in a cabinet, which is, I love that as well. And I'll display some of mine, but I use pretty much all of mine. Um, I'm not gonna pay for it and not use it. But the little measuring cups, that's the little one for one fourth. This one's one third. And this is the icon. Um, which she don't make measuring cups in the large letter, which is what I usually collect. Half a cup. And then one cup. 
I just, I think they're really pretty. These are really hard to come across. So, sorry, get them all. I did it backwards, go figure. Now, I found these last week and it's kind of weird because these are considered Thanksgiving and they come out before the Halloween in my area. So, um, I don't really have many ovals over the years. They've been hard to find, any regular ovals, but I did find the new Thanksgiving ones. They are $4.99 each. And I got the set for Thanksgiving this year. So I got Gobbled, got Blessed, Feast. Pretty dessert, snacks, pile up of. Yesterday, we found these not at my TG Maxx, but one in Charlotte. Um, so it's a little bit further away for us. And I just happened to walk in there, there that were still in the tank in the box. If you're a hunter, you usually know what the radon, the radon boxes look like. So you usually know what's in what. That's what I've learned from the boxes, so I pretty much know you know, sometimes you can tell what's in them, sometimes you you can't. I didn't know what was in this particular box. I just knew it was a red unbox. But it's the new rounds. And they say snack. Yum. All right, taste. And eat. I still gotta wash them. And the set was $14.99. And the next piece, I have been looking a year, literally a year. I missed it last year. This is the Holy Grail of Ray Dunn, the hardest to find besides certain Halloween mugs. Um, but if you're a hunter or a collector, you know how rare these are. But last, this past Monday, I was in my TJ Maxx. I've been standing there waiting forever, and this was on the last tank. And I saw it upside down, and I about fainted when I opened it. I finally found the ceramic Halloween bowls. They're so pretty. I wanted the Hocus Pocus last year, but I still, I love these. This one says Halloween. This one was $14.99, and it's orange on the inside. And I just, oh, I love it. And most stores get two sets. So there was only one at my store that day. I would have picked it up for my Dunn Buddy. But, you know, which is Brew. This one was $19.99. But it, it's beautiful. I was so happy. I almost cried. I have been waiting a year to find these. Last year I missed them. So... That takes some stress off of me because I can usually only hunt in the summer um, until after work because I work um, for a school system, so it's kind of hard for me to hunt during the school year. But I'm so happy. I did find one more thing. Let me grab it. I meant to get that. And I had to go in the house. I forgot about this. I found this last week as well. It was the first Halloween piece I found. It's a dog bowl. It says Howl Owen. It was $7.99 at TJ Maxx. And I am going to use it for candy. It already had Reese's in it and they've ate them all. But that is what I found the last two weeks. And um, let me know if you want more videos like this. I usually don't share this kind of stuff. Maybe one day I'll do um, a tour of my collection uh, in a few parts because I have a pretty big collection since I've been collecting so many years. Um, but please just um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. And please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Bye y'all. <coughs>